welcome back to day two of Rapid Plus TCT. I'm Brandon Ribbick, the technology director at America Makes, and I'm joined here today with Jay Varellen from Kenna Metal. Welcome, you. Jay. It's yeah. nice to meet you. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. Appreciate yeah, being able to be here. Yeah, absolutely. It's great. It's great to be out, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so speaking of the show, you know, we're, we're mostly through day two. Mm -hmm. um, but that being said, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Is there anything that you've seen that's kind of spoken to you so far? Yeah, it's interesting. Actually, there's, uh, uh, from a technology standpoint, you know, the industry, we're seeing some uh, expansion and yeah. we're seeing some consolidation. So both those are interesting. I think what I find most interesting are the discussions that we're having. And the word that I hear the most uh, is not a bad F word, it's a focus. Uh, mm -hmm. And actually that, that focus uh, is something that's really interesting as the, the industry is evolving. So we're seeing and having that conversation in many more spots than we were before. So we're feeling the same way, uh, making sure that we focus in, in doing what we're doing. So that's what we're hearing a lot of this time too. It's exciting. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I, I completely agree with uh, uh, what you were just saying there. And it, it, it really provides a context of how we can derive, you know, value, right? And, and uh, realize demand. And so, exactly. That's exciting. Um, but, that, but that being said, you know, I'm curious, you know, you said you're welcome to focus. Um, how, you know, in terms of Kenna Metal and, and what you're working on mm -hmm. there, how does that relate, right? It, right. It, what's going on at Kenna Metal? Right. So for Kenna Metal, we have uh, you know a, a company that's over 80 years old. So we're, we've been around this uh, this area for a while, mm -hmm. um, and uh, you know our focus and primary area uh, is around uh, wear components and solutions, typically tungsten carbide as well as stellite materials and some others that go around that. Um, and in our two different divisions uh, within the metal cutting side and the infrastructure, this is where we put the additive business. Okay. Um, so we've been doing additive, I think if you think about it from cladding and things like this and some, some, some hard facing, you could say that's sort of the, the early days of additive. Mm -hmm. um, and then as uh, we started exploring more technologies, we've actually been integrating and manufacturing our additive solutions um, within our own manufacturing for several years. So okay. thousands and thousands of parts that we make this way. Wow. What we found also is that with specific technologies for our materials, uh, that we have something that's really uh, quite different and we're focused highly on the binder jet area because okay. of the tungsten carbide and the stellites. Um, and the focus part for us uh, has been, you know, sort of discovering the market and where do we fit in from an additive perspective. Um, and I would say that uh, the lessons learned and what we found exploring mm -hmm. while we're delivering value for ourselves and for our key customers is that uh, we are able to recognize um, where we can actually expand our expertise. Right? Sure. So that focus for us has been really on where we add value, not necessarily in one spot or the other, but on the full solutions. Mm -hmm. So for Kenna Metal, um, kind of introducing ourselves in some ways as the additive business, which falls under our infrastructure, and we provide complete end-to-end -end solutions. So we launched the business unit a couple years ago, um, and we have uh, established our manufacturing facilities. We have now global support capability. Um, we've learned a lot from our customers. Uh, we've learned a lot to leverage the technology internally sure. as well. But that focus, um, yeah. that word resonates uh, highly. And so me being new to leading this business most yeah. recently, um, kind of metal 13 years, but new to this side, uh, that part really resonated. Uh, and it's the discussions we've been having as well to drive more value. Yeah, no, I think that's a great point. And, um, you know, uh, along those lines, you know, you, you mentioned the stellite uh, range of materials, the tungsten carbide. When I hear those words from an engineering perspective, I think of wear resistance, right? Mm -hmm. But what really range of applications do, do those materials lend to? Right, so if we think about um, wear resistance, that's really the primary area. But okay. we, when we, we t take that back a little bit and it's, mm -hmm. you know, what kind of wear? Is it corrosion? Is it erosion? Is it due to heat and temperature with some of those combinations? Okay. And actually it's a bit of all of that. Okay. Um, and in some cases it's one more than the other. But where we really excel is understanding uh, what application can be used for a certain material, so the stellites, mm -hmm. or what requires an additional step. Mm -hmm. um, and that's really where we put our development, really focused in those. So that's how the wear piece looks. It's those elements of corrosion, erosion, and the combination of temperature when and where it exists. Wow, that's really interesting. So it, it maybe, uh, maybe I'm just naive. So based on what you're saying, it, do you find that like most of your solutions in terms of the products you provide and the materials that, that you're uh, utilizing in these products, 
uh, they're addressing the needs in aerospace and, and, and space applications, like outer okay. space, you know, yeah, spacecraft, or yeah. is it, it, what markets? Yeah, so uh, we have broad application across several markets, right? Okay. So as a company, we address, um, of course, aerospace, defense, and in, in different ways. Okay. Uh, when we talk about our additive solutions, where we have really found a uh, great mix with our customers and being able to provide value, in particular, oil and gas, okay. process industries, as well as general industry in areas where using the materials in sometimes surprising ways, but almost always with an aware application of some sort, okay. um, that's really where it comes into play the yeah. most. No, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm curious to understand, because as I'm learning myself, you know, it, it, corrosion means different things to different people. It depends yes. upon the environmental conditions, temperatures, exactly. as you said, and we all want hotter, better, you know, harder, faster, et cetera. Exactly. <laughs> so that being said, that's, that's wonderful. And so, um, you know, you mentioned uh, not only about the types of things you're working on, um, kind of, is there anything new and exciting happening at Catamaran? Yeah, so it's a nice uh, opportunity. I mean, so what we've, uh, what we've done at this show is we've, uh, just on Monday afternoon, we released our press release. Uh, the nice, crazy technical name is KAR85AM, which is essentially our second commercialized uh, tungsten carbide additive grade. Mm -hmm. So what we are doing is within our complete solutions from powder, design, print, post-process and center, wow. and uh, finished machine as required. Uh, we had uh, one tungsten carbide that we're leading the way in this, uh, and we've added another one that actually has a special blend, uh, so that it has more corrosion resistance okay. along with the wear resistance. So this really allows a broader application for our customers, in particular in some of these process industries as well. That's great, that's great. You know, uh, another thing that we've talked to some folks about over the last day and a half or so, We've been hearing a lot about, okay, we have all this great capability, we have the materials, how do we begin to foster effective operations? And, and with that, it really requires a strong workforce. Mm -hmm. um, are, are there things that Kenna Metal's looking at there and working on? Uh, absolutely. So, um, you know, if we think about uh, in particular additive, and then I'll relate it a little bit to the others, uh, it's a, sometimes it's a, it's a lot of different thinking. Mm -hmm. um, so For sure. The value comes from design for additive. You don't necessarily, you can in some cases take something you've always had and then additively manufacture, but doing a different way of thinking about the design, that requires a different way of thinking about the engineering design and, that, and the materials and how we use those. So we like to try to um, support the industry as well um, across additive, but as well as with Kenna Metal overall, we have what's called an eMERGE program. Okay. And we invite in uh, applicants across several areas, so our commercial, our technology and our operations and even our uh, RT groups. And what we'll have is um, some of the best graduates um, that come out of the schools, as well as those who sometimes are looking for a career change and have an excel and they can excel in a certain area. Um, we have applications, many that come in. Uh, we have uh, you know, a select group that's, uh, that's selected. And typically it's about an 18 to 24 month rotation through this program. Okay. And where we like to expose them across the business so we have metal cutting, our infrastructure, and that includes additive and powders and all of the different stuff, some very wow. technical, some very commercial, yeah. and experience across that so that we can really help develop the next generation of leaders um, and the people who are most effective. Yeah. And we find the right spot with them, and then along that journey, as they graduate, we typically have a really great match, uh, and then we have them be productive members of our team as well. That's awesome. Well, it's been great to meet you, sir. I really appreciate all this yeah. exciting information you share with us today. Yeah. And I hope you enjoy the rest of your time at Rapid. Yeah, thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you very much. You're welcome.